Hey, what's going on, guys? Tigger Four Four here, back with another video. And today, I am I'm going to be teaching you how to do paint instead of just like sharp marks and stuff. So you're gonna need some paint, as you can see here, either like clear wrap or just like a bag, like plastic bag you have around the house. Normal tape and like some scotch tape. A shoe box. Shoe boxes really work really well. Um, some sticky notes if you need it. But use construction paper if you have it. Paintbrush, a couple of pencils, and some scissors. And of course, your spoon machine. Take your shoe box and then make a line. Basically, you're gonna make a line. Right along here. Like that. So, you have a clear line and you're going to make a circle uh, at the bottom, around the middle, somewhere like that. So, I'm just make some paint. It doesn't have to be perfect, but here it is. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little uh, marking. You're going to take your scissors and just cut that part out. All right, we got the hole in the thing and our little machine here. Since mine has like a uh, odd type of shape, it's going to, I need to make the circle like that as well. As you can see, it's pretty snug. You can really pull it through all the way, but the head of the thing won't be able to get through. The button shows. So you can keep pressing it and it's still in the box and make sure the box is like bigger than your thing see as you can see my thing can like move around inside because if you need, if you need to take it out you need to pull it up then pull it out so make sure the box is not as small now you're going to need the actual top of this now you're going to make a rectangle like or a square on the top of your box here i'm going to be using a square because that's the that's how my bag is like shaped not rectangle just straight and square there so make sure um, when you take this apart, try not to actually rip the plastic of it. Just like take the blue things off, make the blue things get loose and like just pull those off. Make sure you keep the plastic intact. You're just gonna basically use your scissors to cut the plastic off. So as you guys can see, I just removed the, I just cut it back in half and removed the blue thing, I'm gonna line it up with the thing. And I'm gonna make a line around it with my Sharpie marker. If you need to, you just tape down, you tape it down, use a little bit of the um, small tape. Just tape the edges so it won't move as much. So after you've done that, just remove your tape and your bag from the box. It should come up quite easily. So after that, you're just basically gonna cut this out. But make sure before you do that, Make sure they leave an inch of like space. It needs to be smaller than the actual thing. So as you can see, I made a hole a little bit, like maybe like half an inch smaller than the actual border. So now the it can rest and not get and that it's not gonna fall through like it usually does if it's the same size. Leave the top and the little uh, clear wrap or bag you're using to the side for a minute. And now you're going to start like, cutting construction paper to size if you fold the paper in half cut the half in half which is weird it should make very long rectangles and then the seam here as you can see the way I folded it you just bend that again pierces right there just make it like that in between then you're just gonna use that seam to guide your cutting if you're using um, sticky notes instead you already know it comes in like a really small square so that's like very convenient but I, we don't want the paint to actually like spill through and mess up your machine make sure it can fit horizontally and vertically so it won't be able to hit the edges after you're done with that you're pretty much almost done but you first need to take your um either a clear wrap or bag and just tape it with your very like heavy duty scotch tape if you have it okay last piece of tape so i'm just going to put that on there we go so basically i just taped all around the edges uh make sure you're using clear tape you don't really have to but it looks much more professional if you use clear tape once you close it back on the box you can see through the box so let's say you have your machine here 
you pin it through the hole we made and then you close the cap you can still see your machine in uh, through the box we're going to see if the paper um, can, is like easily spinning uh, freely in the box so I'm going to put the paper somewhere in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect but as you can see as you can see it's hitting my finger every time I spin it so we're going to need to trim some off so there you go it spins really easily so now it's going to go let's do a test does it spin freely and clean it does a little bit so there we go and let's say your paper is a little bigger than mine if you hold it down it could hit the thing see how it just stopped So yeah, if you don't want that to happen, you could uh, just use your thumb to hold the part, the top part of the thing, then press the button against, press the button against the edge or the top of the hole. It's just still spin. Yeah. But as you see, there's, there's a little more space in the thing. Test it with the top on. Again, you could just use your thumb to press against the thing. And it spins really nicely. I've noticed it's pretty, it's really hard to continue to press like the really small button up against um, the edge of that thing. So I basically just folded, I folded one of these things multiple times and taped it near the button so it, it's a more flat surface to press it. But then I noticed again that the hole originally was way too small, so I added a little slit there. So basically, it should be much easier to just slide in there as you can see the little slit pulls it down and then it's much easier just to pull up and continue to spin since we know it works pretty decently let's add the paint slot the paint uh, the paintbrush slot let's just make a little dot with our sharpie marker around the spot where it's gonna be maybe like out here now I'm just going to take my scissors and just poke a small hole there now my paintbrush should be able to slide through my hole is a little too small so I'm going to cut it open just a little bit more do it just enough until the paintbrush head can actually go inside the machine Let's say it's spinning. Let's say the thing is spinning. Now my paint, since my paintbrush can go inside, it can see that I was touching the thing. That means it can actually paint inside the machine. If you want to switch your color, turn the switch down. Clear the paintbrush out of the original color, then like paint some more in. Hope you enjoy. I'm hope this hope this works for you guys. Um, if it doesn't, make it. I may make another video. Like in the future i might explain it in, in more depth but that's about it guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next tutorial video